we conform to a lot of professions when we get done with our graduation. I would like to talk about conforming to professions. I would like to talk about how you can see professions who are which are different, which are out of the league and still be successful in something or the other. And, uh, and basic things which you can learn through life and I'll tell you about my experience, how I got done with graduation and I took a gap year which is not usually a thing in India and made such a big difference. So basically like uh, after I think you guys have are graduating or are in university or college. So the, you select your subject for graduation and you get done and parents will ask you what are you going to do in the future. It's always been a question for most people in our life. And uh, even like the lost uncle you met, met at the wedding or your aunt who met at the wedding, the only question they have to ask is what are you going to do in the future. So this has become such an important thing for each and every one in India that uh, we need to tackle it, we need to think about it and uh, my thing is that you guys really need to chill. It is, I know everybody is constantly thinking about uh, what to do, what to do next and everything. Nobody is living in the present nowadays and uh, I, I was one of those people who was in the rut as well. We are in a rat race where we are running with most of the people and going ahead and you know not knowing what are we doing in our life. So you need to take some time, relax, get to know what are you doing in life, what do you like. I will tell you my experience, how did I go about with it. Uh, it was not, it's not that far, like it's been two years I graduated in psychology from Uriya College. And I was pretty firm enough that I wanted to do psychology. Psychology is my thing, I'm pretty sure. But before getting into psychology, like being a psychologist as a profession, I really want to know how does psychology work. So she was really shocked. She was like, I am not accepting this. Uh, you're not going to spend uh, money frivolously and just uh, travel around the world. And because that, that was my main goal, because I just went like, I want to travel and uh, meet new people and uh, do something in mental health because mental health is not that developed in India. So, she was really shocked and she was like not appreciated over the fact that I, her child is like getting, taking a gap here. And I lost my dad when I was in the first grade. So there's always been a pressure of a kid doing something more productive in life and going ahead and you know, serving money and giving something, like being the bread owner and everything and doing something to the family. So, I'll tell you how did it change and how did it influence each and every step in my life. So it was not late, I got, I got graduated. I told my mother that I want to take a gap year. But always, you know, it, always things get in your head and you go like, what next? I've confidently said I'm going to take a gap year. So I kept on looking for things which would look good on my CV and would appreciate my, like, you know, enhance my hobbies as well at the same time. So I got an opportunity to go to Croatia. I looked uh, online and uh, went through a tedious process of going through various interviews and everything. And I got an opportunity to work in Croatia with a school which is the only school in the eastern province of Croatia which gives admission to autistic kids. I have noticed that while I was in Croatia, while I was traveling the whole time, there was so much of influence through other people. You need so many people. The world has so much to show you and so much to teach that you can't get over with it. Like you, you just want more. And I'm not just saying because I had a foreign experience. I'm saying that even if you're in India, it is so much of exposure you're getting which you don't do not realize. And a normal layman who's walking on the road, it's just that we ne we are so consumed with the ourselves that you no, know, we forget about the environment a lot of times. So I just want to tell you guys that there's a lot to learn from a lot of people. There are a lot of people who will influence you in life in a bad way or a good way. Go ahead, be in the whole scenario, get to know how does it work 
don't be scared it is you need to the thing is about you need to experience it the way it comes a lot of people are so scared and are in the rut that you know after i'm done with my 12th i have to do my college i have to go to university complete complete my 3 years or 4 years of bachelor's then go to masters and then take a break understand yourself understand what is good about you understand what is bad about you if there is something bad about you enhance it try to make it better how can you make it better there's a lot of people who will influence you in your life there's a lot of people who will take you down and just go like yeah you're not worth it and everything it's that's how it goes and i would just suggest you that go ahead apply for a lot of things go ahead try your best just experience it is a wonderful world out there nobody's going to stop you if you do it the way you want to do it and uh, i got another opportunity from a uk organization where they were selecting people for mental health in national institute of mental health sri lanka and uh, i wanted to have another cultural experience with another country and how does mental health work in another country so i went to sri lanka got a 3 month experience again got to work with the top psychiatrists in sri lanka and everything in the largest mental hospital and everything so it was a wonderful experience each experience i realized there's so many things you could learn that you know staying in india i would have learned as well but there is so much of cultural difference as well which has taught me so many things so i would really recommend you guys to go ahead take a break and the major thing i have seen in indian kids is like depression is like they get really disappointed if they are rejected rejection is something which is not taken well by indian kids so i have got a lot of rejection in personal life and in uh, occupation itself so i'm telling you like if you are applying for a job itself like a, a normal thing like applying for a job or something if you have applied for 15 jobs fine if you get to do which you don't even want but the whole experience of applying for a job and going through the whole tedious process next time if somebody tells you to apply for a job you already know how to go with it so you know you always don't take it as that like, oh i just wasted so much of time and i actually applied for 15 jobs but did not get a single job but it teaches you so many things that through the whole process you've learned so many things which you never realized you always you always think a negative aspect to it you always go like oh no but that was that was a waste of time and so I'm, i'm just telling you there's always something positive learn something positive from each experience uh, i'm really proud of vedanti actually how she came up with youtube and everything i've i've been a major influence on her youtube because i've been i it, it was very fortunate that i was in got introduced to youtube and everything from 2007 when youtube started and i got to learn about it so i was very very intrigued about how there are different professions and I actually thought of being a youtuber and you know how do they get money and not only per se the money aspect of it but there is so many another exposure people do get through experience so i'm just going to tell you that be open be very optimistic be open to whatever how however things come things are going to be positive and negative that's how life is going to be uh, yeah that's what that's about it like i would say go ahead explore the world i got i got i got pretty good percentage when i was in 10 and uh, i was like mama mama ma, ma, everybody asked what do you want like i'm going to do arts and like arts i'm not i'm not saying nothing against engineers If you like doing engineering, good for you guys because there are very rare people who really like to do engineering. 